Hello everyone, my name is Sam. Welcome to my channel if you are new or welcome back if you are a returning subscriber slash viewer. Today's video, as you can tell by the title, is going to be a stocking stuffer ideas video. If you watched my previous video, which was a Christmas holiday gift guide for 2022, I briefly mentioned that I might do a stocking stuffer ideas video and I got two or three people saying I should do it and that was enough for me. So. Here's the video. Stocking stuffers, I just think they're fun. You know, they're just like cute little trinkets, supplementary gifts to, you know, the bigger ordeal of opening gifts. And they're just, they're just fun. You can kind of go any direction you want. This, this list that I have is gonna be good for anyone, all genders, all ages, all relationships. Um, so before I get started, I just wanna mention two things. Number one, I do not use Amazon, so <laughs> I'm sure a lot of these things, if not all of them, you could find on Amazon for cheaper. So if you are pro Amazon, feel free to look for them on there. When I shop online, I like to use Rakuten, which basically gives you a cash back each time you purchase it. It's just an internet browser extension. I also mentioned this in my gift guide video. Uh, if you wanna learn more and if you wanna get, I think $30, when you sign up. Um, you can use my referral link or code down in the description. Like I said, it just saves you money. It just gives you cash back for purchases. That's literally it. And I like to use it because I like to save money. So without further ado, let's get into the gift guide. Number one stocking stuffer, it's so obvious, but I just had to include it in a stocking stuffer video, is candy. In general, candy is like the number one stocking stuffer. You can go to any drugstore, you can go to Target, you can go to Walmart. You can find candy everywhere. There's tons of fun, you know, holiday themed candies this time of year. If you want to go a little bit different or a little bit bougier, you could try either Sugarfina. They're like a bit more of a boutique candy brand, but they do a lot of fun flavors and fun little um, different types of candy. And then also World Market, they have so many different types of international candies. I like to go there sometimes and get British uh, chocolate bars, like the Milka ones, for my brother because he likes those. So World Market is really fun. If you want to branch out of the typical American candy, I would suggest that. And then similarly, any mini food gift is a great idea. Everyone likes food and there are a bunch of mini food, you know, sampler packs, especially during this time of year. World Market also has a bunch of good ones on their website I was just looking at earlier. They have little hot sauce gift sets. They even have that Truff hot sauce trio sampler pack. They also have, you know, little mini Bon Maman. I don't know if I'm saying that right. Jams, they have like honeys, they have um, like coffee, simple syrups. So anything that the person you're buying for likes, you could probably find a little mini food item or a mini food gift set to put in their stocking. Moving on. Anything nail product related, I always think is a great stocking stuffer. So nail files, you know, they have like those little mini manicure or pedicure kits, nail polishes, nail stickers are kind of coming back in style. I think, I think they're more trendy now. I used them when I was little, but I guess they're trendy again. So nail stickers, those press on nails that you can find at the drugstore or Walmart, things like that. Those have come such a long way. Like they're such better quality now than they used to be. So those would be fun. Cuticle oil, um, just anything nail related. I think those are always great. Tweezers, who doesn't love a good tweezer? Even if it's a man, get him a good pair of tweezers, honestly, because a good pair of tweezers will change your life. And it's just, you know, such a good little thing to just stick in the stocking. Any type of makeup tool, if that person is into makeup. So an eyelash curler, um, you could probably throw a couple makeup brushes in there. Or I know at places like TJ Maxx and Marshalls, they have little, packs of these spoolies like these these are used so if they're kind of dirty i'm sorry but i got those as a gift one year and they're really good for doing your makeup or if the person you're buying for um gets their lashes done like they have fake lashes i know that spoolies are good for them to like comb them through my mom has fake eyelashes so i know i see her doing that all the time any type of chapstick or lip balm or lip gloss especially with it being winter in the drier season you know a good even a lip mask anything very moisturizing for the lip very small easy to throw in the stocking hand lotion also you know everyone's hands are dry they also have foot lotion if the person you're buying for has like crusty feet <laughs> no i'm just kidding but honestly foot lotion hand lotion those are great. If you want to keep it more on the manly side, working hands could be, it's kind of like a hand lotion, but it's it's more of like a paste, so it's extremely moisturizing if you're not familiar with it. So that takes really good care of like, I mean, working hands, like it says. So that's a good one. 
any type of mini makeup product, you know, travel size, trial size makeup product. You know, whenever you go to check out at Ulta or Sephora, they always have the little aisles in the checkout line that have all of the trial sizes and travel sizes of their beauty products. So those are just fun. Who doesn't love mini versions of things? They're just, I don't know, cute and they're fun. Um, but I would say be careful because they can be definitely more expensive if you're buying like quality makeup items or hair items, even if it's a smaller size, they can trick you with the price. So just watch out for that if you're gonna go with that. If you can find mini face masks, those are great. Sheet masks, those are literally everywhere now. So those are great to just, you know, buy a few, throw a couple in the stocking. Also like under eye masks, you can get, um, I actually got these pimple patches <laughs> to give to my mom this year just because I know that she likes using them. Um, so these are really great, as you can see, a good size for a stocking. Also, they have like under eye uh, cooling packets you can get. I have some in my fridge that are shaped like avocados. They kind of look like ice packs, but you don't freeze them. You just, you know, cool them down to put on your eyes. So those would be fun. Any type of hair accessory. So hair clips, barrettes, those little butterfly clips, uh, again, I think are trendy now. Hair ties, scrunchies, you know, things like that. Um, you could do a miniature hairbrush or one of those like tangle teaser More travel size I guess to tangling ones. Those are great travel size of the dry shampoo Batiste makes great ones But I know there's other brands out there I personally like the Batiste like I just said But there are a bunch of other dry shampoo brands out there that make the little mini sizes uh, Masks for your hair again, just like the she mask you can buy a few hair masks throw them in the stocking one of those miniature emergency, I think they're actually called mini emergency <laughs> kits. They are probably about this big. They come in a bunch of different colors. They basically just have anything you could need in an emergency situation. I would say specifically as a female, but they might make ones, you know, more geared towards males as well. But they have, you know, like hair ties in them, a bobby pin, I think like nail polish remover, a tampon, nail clippers, just like random things like that. It's honestly really convenient to throw in your purse, but it does make a really good stocking, stocking stuffer idea. Beauty blenders, you could buy one, you could buy multiple. I'm sure there are a bunch of holiday themed packs and holiday themed colors out there. Makeup erasers, which are like those little cloths, I'll insert a picture of them, but they're just used for wiping off makeup. So those are good because they're reusable. You could also just throw in some regular makeup removing wipes or, you know, like sanitizing wipes. They have a bunch at TJ Maxx and Marshalls. Again, I know I always see a huge collection of them there. If the person you're buying for is really into glitter, really into like extravagant makeup looks, or if they really like going to festivals, things like that, I would suggest getting them glitter. You could just get like little tubs of makeup glitter. There's glitter gel. There's like glitter specifically for your hair. There's roll-on glitter. So those would be really fun. Along those same lines, any type of like face gems, you know, face stickers, those are cute, those are fun. Temporary tattoos. And no, I do not mean like the little colorful ones you used to wear as a child. <laughs> they have come a long way. There are a few companies now who do more adult versions of them. So they come in so many different varieties, varieties and styles. So just thinking of what the person likes, or I'm sure they have like a multi-pack out there. Those are fun. Those little words project bracelets, or I think they also have necklaces. They're basically just cute little beaded uh, bracelets and or necklaces that say, you know, cute things on them, inspirational messages, whatever. Basically, this company just capitalized on candy, which is like <laughs> the rave term for, again, the beaded bracelets that say words and things on them. So if you want, you could just make your own. I have made a ton. All you have to do is buy beads that have letters on them and, you know, colorful beads and some fishing line or string, whatever. You can make them your own and then you can put whatever message you want on them. So they're super easy to DIY if you maybe don't want to spend the money on the Little Words Project one, but I know that brand has become super popular and a lot of people like them. A bath bomb or if they don't have a bathtub, maybe they just have a stand-up shower. They have little shower steamer tabs. Lush is extremely well known for their bath bombs and I think they do have shower steamers now, but they've become so mainstream you can get them at basically any store. Essential oils, if the person you're buying for is really into essential oils, you could just get like the roll-on ones um, or you could get the you know, little vials if they have an essential oil diffuser or maybe if you want to buy them an essential oil diffuser as a gift and then you could throw the little oils in their stocking. Just an idea. Socks. This is such a basic one, but I love getting socks every year, mostly because I wear through my socks 
all the time because I just do so much walking. But if you want to just get them like one or two pairs of super cute socks, holiday themed, maybe fuzzy socks, those are great. Target has a bunch of cute designs, not just for the holidays, but year round. Um, same thing with Old Navy. And they do have them for men and women, so. One of those head scratchers or a back scratcher. I got my boyfriend a back scratcher last year for Christmas and put it in his stocking and he loved it. So again, those can be found basically anywhere. Very affordable, everyone loves them. Fidget toys, I'm not super familiar with them so I can't name specific fidget toys off the top of my head. But again, I know over the last few years they've become very popular and they have so many different types of them, so many different styles, so many different sizes. So there's definitely some out there that you can buy to fit in the stocking. Keychains! Keychains are just, there's again, so many different kinds out there. Etsy has a bunch of cute ones. The other day I saw one that was a little Ikea bag. I thought that was funny. They also have keychains that, um, they're cute but they double as phone chargers. So those are really nice because I feel like everyone's phone is always dying. But keychains in general, that would be a good idea. As long as they have keys. Maybe if they don't have car keys and or apartment keys, then maybe they wouldn't use a keychain. <laughs> Mini size candles. This one is from Voluspa, which I love. They smell so good and they're really high quality, but they are a little bit on the pricey side. So I would recommend them, but you can also go to, again, Target, Walmart, uh, Marshalls, TJ Maxx. Again, basically any store for a small size candle, throw that in there, um, everyone loves candles. One of those wall fragrance plugs, um, Bath & Body Works has a bunch that are really fun designs, so it's not just like the plain boring Glade or Febreze one, no shade to them, but sometimes they're kind of boring. So Bath & Body Works has a bunch of really fun ones. I have one that looks like a succulent, so you could do that and then throw in one or two scents. They have a bunch of really good ones for the holiday time. Ooh, this is a really good one for specifically men, but anyone who's like really, you know, crafty in that type of way. A multi-tool, one of those like five-in-one tools, or sometimes they call them like survival tools, just things like that. Um, I have either given these to a man in my life or I've seen men receive them as gifts and they're always just so intrigued and fascinated with them. So that's a really good gift idea for a man. <laughs> Reusable straws, a bunch of places, especially here in New York, I know, I think most of the big cities probably are doing away with plastic straws. Some of them don't even have straws at all. So reusable straws, like a little pack that they can carry around, that would be a nice to have. Koozies, any type of koozie would be good, but I specifically saw these ones on Uncommon Goods. I was doing a lot of Christmas shopping or Christmas inspiration on that website this year. They look like little jackets and I just thought those were so funny and they're just so cute. So those specifically I think are very unique and that would be fun to give. But like I said, there's so many different types of koozies out there and who doesn't want their beer to be, you know, icy cold or whatever other beverage they're using. Bottle openers, there are a bunch of different, you know, cute ones, funny ones out there if they're always in need of a bottle opener. Wine stoppers, or I guess just bottle stoppers in general, I mostly see them used for wine, but they look, you know, something like this. This is my cute little festive snowman one. It's something I feel like you don't think of until you actually need it. So wine slash bottle stoppers, perfect. Uh, along the same lines, a wine aerator, they are actually more expensive than I thought. One that you can just stick in the bottle and then it aerates it as it pours. If the person you're buying for is really into wine, really likes wine, that would be good. If you don't know, an aerator kind of just enhances the flavors of the wine. It's supposed to make all the flavors come out more. In general, you could get them like little mini bottles of, you know, wine or alcohol, but I feel like that is more of a, a funny gift I don't know, I just feel like it'd be weird as like a serious gift because it's like, oh, do you think I'm an alcoholic? But if you know the person and like you think it'd be funny, then I could see that being a good stocking stuffer. Like if I were to get it for my brother, I think he would think that was funny. Also wine markers. I don't actually know what they're called. That's just what I wrote down, but I'll put in some pictures of them. Basically, they're just usually like a pack of six or more and you stick them on like the bottom of your wine glass on the stem. So if you have a bunch of people over and everyone's drinking wine, then it basically marks which glass is yours. So those are, it's actually a really good idea <laughs> to have those. So I think that would make a nice stocking stuffer. I saw these online. I think you can get these on Amazon. I don't know where they're originally from, but these lightsaber chopsticks, I thought those were hilarious. I don't have anyone to buy them for in my life, but 
I just thought these were so cool. Like I almost bought them for myself. So please someone buy them and let me know how they are. A mini skillet pan. Uh, my mom has one of these, like a really tiny, I think hers is just a frying pan, but you can actually get like a cast iron skillet. I'll link one below. It's like three and a half inches. And it, that's just, it's, it's fun. It's funny. I know I've said probably both of those words a lot in this video, but this one just is. It's good for like maybe one egg or like, I don't know. It's just, it's almost a gag gift, but it's not because you can use it. So it's a good one. A mini marquee light up sign. This is good for a variety of people. Um, you know, I've seen a lot of people have this in their apartment. It's just a fun little thing to have. Stickers. Stickers are so fun. I personally love stickers. People can put them on the back of their laptop. They can put them on their phone. I've seen people put them on their water bottles. They can go anywhere and there's a million different types of stickers out there and they're usually relatively cheap, so. Pens, markers, and notepads, those are all good things for a variety of different ages, different types of people. If the person that you're buying for is more artistic, more creative, you could maybe you know buy them the nicer type of pens, drawing pens um, and markers, or you know maybe you just wanna buy the person stationary like last year or two years ago, I got my grandmother stationary, so she loved it. <laughs> but specifically these little scratch art, I don't know what they're called, but like scratch art notepads. Comment below if you remember these from like when you were younger, because I remember having them. They were black, but then you scratched it off and it was like rainbow underneath. So those are so fun as a little notepad. I don't know how practical they are, but they look cool. Webcam covers. I feel like almost everyone is so paranoid about being like surveilled on their laptop and or their phone. So this would be a great gift for everyone. <laughs> Tech cleaning wipes, you can buy a pack of them. They're just little mini wipes people can use to wipe down their tech devices. Obviously, it's in the name. You could also get them a little mini microfiber cloth. Um, it's good for cleaning screens, good for cleaning glasses. There are also glasses cleaning kits out there. That would be a great stocking stuffer, obviously for people, for people who wear glasses. <laughs> A clean key. I had to look up what this was called because I know I've seen ads for it. I just couldn't remember. I'll put a picture of it here so you can just have a better understanding. But if anyone in your life is kind of a germaphobe or if they're always, you know, wiping things down before they touch them or like wiping the seat before they sit on it, this would be good for them to have. If your person is really big into sneakers and they, you know, always want them clean, never want to get them dirty, they have sneaker cleaning wipes now and sneaker cleaning spray. I think I got this from PacSun actually. I'm gonna give this to my brother this year. So these are again, see, good little size, throw them in there. A pop socket or one of those little wristbands that you stick onto the end of your phone. I don't know what those are called, but I will put in a picture of them so you guys know what I'm talking about. Those have been crazy popular recently and they are cute and they actually do work. Like they don't just, you know, fall off your phone because I have asked people before. <laughs> so those would be cute or just a pop socket if you want to keep it more universal. Poopery makes mini versions of like their big poopery sprays. That, I don't, I don't care if people say, it. it's a good thing to have, okay? It's a good stocking stuffer. I've gotten it in my stocking before and I loved it. So mini pooperies all around, or even the full size one would fit in a stocking because they're not that big, but the mini ones you can get like different scents of, so up to you. A cute nightlight would be a good stocking stuffer idea. I actually have one that looks like mushrooms and I always get compliments on it when people come over and go into my bathroom. I'll put a video of it in here somewhere so you can see. It was relatively cheap. I think I got it on Shein for like $3 a few years ago. So something like that would be a good idea for everyone. You could just get something that matches their style. A disposable camera. Again, those have come so much back into, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Into trend, into style. They've come back into style recently. Disposable cameras. There's like the Fujifilm ones, the Kodak ones. Again, you could just freaking buy them everywhere, I feel like, so those are fun. They also make little tiny albums for Polaroids, like the little mini Instax ones. I have one, I love it. It's a great idea that obviously is small so it can fit in a stocking. Any type of mini plush, you could literally just search mini plush and then find something that they like. Um, you could, they have animals, but I've also seen food ones. There's, I've seen like sushi plushes, avocados. I have this little, that's actually a combination of both, food and animal. This is um, the Pusheen brand, which is that cat. I've talked about the brand before because I just love it. <gasps> oh no, stay. But this is a pushing croissant. I mean, I'm personally a sucker for like little mini plushes. So if the person you're buying for is as well, they will love anything, you know, small plush. And then the last thing on my list is a foldable tote bag. The one I have is just black, but again, they have a million different colors and styles. 
this just folds into itself there's like a little pocket so as you can see it's just nice and compact um, and I can throw it in my purse I think these are great for everyone <laughs> All right, that brings us to the end of my stocking stuffer video. This one was shorter than my gift guide one. I tried to talk less, <laughs> but also these things I just kind of wanted to like rapid fire through since they're for stockings. If you guys decide to use any of these ideas, please let me know in the comments below, or if you have any that you would like to add, again, leave a comment below. But yeah, I hope everyone has happy holidays. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching and I will see you next time.